Good morning, friends. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I had to replace my refrigerator about a month ago. And I didn't replace the refrigerator box. I just replaced all of the stuff on the back of it. It's a 12-volt compressor conversion from JC Refrigeration. And uh, I thought I'd give you an update after using it for over a month uh, and my impressions about how it's working. I've got my coat on because I'm going to go outside and show you the guts of it on the outside in the back of the refrigerator and uh, it's cold this morning. I mean real cold. Well, hang on. I'm in Arizona. <laughs> I'm in the desert. Cold is like in the 40s. But with the wind chill, it's uh, pretty stiff out there. I was out there a minute ago. Anyway, let me show you the fridge we're talking about. It's a Norcold 1210. It's the four-door one. And what happened a month ago, if you haven't been watching my videos, is that... So what happened is that it had an ammonia leak. I've always run it on LP uh, gas with the burner flame. And um, it gave up the ghost. I shouldn't complain. Um, this is a 2001 RV. And when I bought it five years ago, it wasn't working very well. But I got it to work well. And it worked well for me for five years. And then it quit. The expectation of the longevity of these Norcolds is about uh, 10 to 12 years, and this one worked pretty darn good for um, 20 years. Anyway, the ammonia leak was severe, and it just plain stopped working. And I replaced it um, with that 12-volt conversion. Let's go outside and take a look at the new parts on the back of the fridge. It's cold out there today, and the wind's going to be blowing, so be prepared for a little wind noise. It's 49 degrees this morning, and the wind is going about 20 miles an hour, so the wind chill feels like I'm about to freeze. We're out on Empire Ranch Road, north of Sonoida, Arizona, and we are, as you can see, isolated. I had to just turn the sound off on this. The wind noise is so horrible. I'm taking the cover off of my refrigerator space. So this is the back of the refrigerator, and this in here so that you don't hear the wind, but the compressor is running. Oh, it just shut off. Um, use the original motherboard from the Norcold, and that's the ice maker, and uh, the 12 volt compressor. So all of this stuff around in here is new, and it goes all the way up to the top of the fridge, new stuff. And it's cold out here. Let's go in and talk about it some more. Boy, it is cold out there. Ay, ay, ay. Um, after several weeks of off-grid camping with that Norcold 1210 12-volt um, 12 compressor conversion, I just want to give you my impressions of it. And my impressions are that it was well worth doing. Uh, the cost was uh, $1,045, I think. And uh, including shipping, it was like uh, $1,275 shipped from, I think it's Indiana to Quartzsite, Arizona, where I did the installation in my RV. Um, 
It came from JC Refrigeration, and if you want to know more about this, um, just Google JC Refrigeration. And by the way, JC, I'm JC, but no connection. I will not sponsored by the JC Refrigeration Company. I didn't get a deal from them. Um, I'm just giving you my impressions as a regular customer. Um, let's start with the installation. It was challenging but very doable. The um, instructions you get from the company and also there are other RVers who have done videos about the installation. It's uh, a bit involved but as I said, very doable and uh, with a minimum of skill, um, you can meet that challenge. Uh, I want to talk about the customer service that I got from JC Refrigeration. Uh, we decided to see if it worked before we put it back in the wall. And when I say we, I had a couple of guys who helped me because it's a big heavy thing. Getting it in and out of the space in the RV is not a one-person job. Um, pretty much the installation could be a one-person job, although I had a friend helping me and um, it went well. We decided to see if it worked before we put it back in the wall, and it did not. So, uh, in the instructions, it says if there's any problem, uh, take a uh, photo of the back of the fridge and all the electronic components and how you've hooked them up and send it to JC Refrigeration before you call. So that's what I did. I took a picture of the back, a couple of pictures. I emailed them and immediately sat down and rang their telephone number. When they answered, the guy said, and now this is like in a minute after I emailed, the guy said, are you Jerry that just emailed me? What kind of customer service do you get today uh, <laughs> when you got to go through, you know, 15 punch this if you want that situations on the internet and making a telephone call to customer service? It was amazing. I emailed it. I poked up the phone. I dialed the number. Press one for that. Press two for that. I press two. And the guy says, are you Jerry that just emailed Hi, Lynn. I'm making a little video. You want to play? Oh, I, went, I thought you were talking on the telephone. No, I'm talking to the camera. That camera? That camera, right there. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and finish. I'm talking about how the new fridge is working. Go ahead. Do you have a complaint about the new fridge? Not one. Oh, yes, you do. The complaint is that the ice cream is so hard that you have to leave it on the counter for 15 minutes before you can scoop it. Anyway, we're out here on solar, and um, it uses all of the same electronic components that the old fridge used. So the motherboard's the same, and you know the sensor's the same, the thermistor inside is the same. So the electrical consumption is lower than I thought because when they say it's going to use X number of watts, and I think it's rated at 90 watts DC, uh, 12 volts, um, it's not using as much as I thought because it's also already using, it by comparison, it's compared to the other system when I'm using it on gas, it's not using as much more as I thought because I was already using all of those components anyway. So the comparison is it's using less power than I thought it would. Um, quiet. Lynn and I both agree that that compressor uh, is quieter than the burner flame was running it on LP. And speaking of the LP flame, we were horrified to find how close we had come to a fire in the back of the fridge when we got that old one out. Um, we are sleeping much better knowing that that very common uh, hazard is no longer lurking there behind the fridge. 
Anyway, um, that's what I got to say about it. If your Norcold refrigerator, then I think they have Dometic um, um, models also. If your Norcold or Dometic refrigerator uh, bites the dust on you, check out JC Refrigeration for the conversion. Um, I considered it all. I considered getting a residential fridge. I considered spending $4,000 to get a new fridge, uh, just like the old fridge. I considered every option I could think of or that anybody could recommend to me. I chose this one, and I'm so happy I did. The rest of this video is just catching you up on our travels in the last week or 10 days. We spent a couple of weeks west of Yuma on Sidewinder Road where our friend Mike was working on the awnings and uh, recovering some of our uh, folding chairs. Then we took off and we drove to Picacho Peak State Park where Lynn and I plugged in to power for the first time in over a year. From there we went to Sonoida, Arizona where our son is looking at some property to buy. And we stayed in the uh, fairgrounds, rodeo grounds, there in Sonoida for about a week. And now we are out on the Empire Ranch Road. It's uh, free camping. And uh, the past weekend was pretty busy with spring break and everything. But we are by ourselves now. Uh... Anyway, just catching you up on our travels. Uh, I'm working on a video. We spent um, quite a bit of time at the old ranch house of the Empire Ranch here just north of Sonoida, Arizona. Quite the place. 27 rooms and uh, set up as a museum, so it's furnished with furniture and dishes in the cupboard and uh, uh, I really enjoyed the tour, but um, got a video of that I'm working on for you. Anyway, catch up on where we've been. Hi, friends. Went for a ride today. We are camped. Not that I think uh, living in a 40-foot diesel pusher is camping, but that's another video. We are camped that way about five miles and where we are right now is we are at the California Aqueduct. All of the Colorado River is getting pumped over to California. And there's border wall over there. That's the part of the new border wall. Watch for swimmers. Oh, there is a swimmer right over there. No trespassing. It, oh, it's a duck. I think it's a duck. Yeah, it's a duck. It is. All by itself. Hmm. Might be the ugly duckling. It's definitely a U.S. duck. That's <laughs> on this side of the wall, right? No trespassing. Dangerous water. Does that mean in the water? Yeah. Aguas peligroso. Well, tell you what, I don't think I need to drive along the California aqueduct any farther, <laughs> do I? Well, really. I don't know. Doesn't seem like we're going to fall in. There's no, and I don't think cat cat no. caterpillar tracks. And I didn't see anything that said don't go yeah. here. It just said don't go in the water. Yeah, I didn't see anything that said no. Oh, well, there's a fence now. It might be. It might be one of those ones they lock behind you later. Ah. Don't want to get uh, stuck on the rock. It says, it says, it says, it says nothing. Oh, oh no, no trespass. trespassing. Prob Imperial Property of the Irrigation. Imperial Irrigation. Irrigation District. Okay, well, fine. We'll just turn around. There's a lot of water going to California, and that comes from what? The Colorado River? Yes. No, one, no wonder there's no water when the Colorado River gets to Mexico. It's all going that way. Yeah, we get our share, their share. And well, Mexico, did, Mexico didn't go to the meeting when they divvied it up. 
sucks to be them. Why is it upside down, huh? <laughs> Hi friends, we made it to Picacho Peak State Park. Check it out. Lynn's checking out the table. <laughs> That's Picacho Peak. And, uh... I'm plugged in for the first time in over a year. Thirty dollars. Wow. That's how much we save every night we're out in the BLM. Yeah. We even have our own saguaro. <sighs> Hi, Lynn. Hi, Terry. What kind of a tree do you have there? Palo Verde. Absolutely right. Palo, stick. Verde, green, green stick. Green stick. Well, we don't have any firewood. No, we don't. That's fine. It's too windy for a fire anyway. We've had a lot of fires. We've had plenty of fires. Yeah. And by the time okay, well, hey, uh, since we're hooked up to electricity tonight, maybe I should bake a squash. Oh, what a great idea. I can use the oven all night. I can make... Microwave popcorn without running the generator. You could make cheesecake. Oh my god. Is it, do you need to cook that? No, but you need to refrigerate it. Well, the refrigerator now runs on 12 volts, so it doesn't matter if we're plugged in or not. Oh, you mean it won't use the other if we're plugged in? It doesn't change if we're plugged in. Like it no. used to change from L. Yes gas to electric? Yes. Not anymore. It's well, I thought maybe that for $30 they would pay for a refrigerator. $30, that'd give us cheesecake. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, hey, I'm going to go uh, read the cheesecake recipe. There's that... Don't forget the There's squash. that... Tall guy following me around in the desert again. You see him? Yeah. He's got this short. What, a, what is that? Is that a piece of chain? Look at here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, hooked up to something so you can chain up the. Your animal. No, I think it's so that you can not steal the table. Table, yeah. We're a little higher altitude. The creosote bush is just starting to bloom. Well, we're all hooked up and ready to leave. The Santa Cruz County Fairgrounds. I've been here for like almost a week and it's Saturday and today there's a roping contest going on here and it seems like I have <laughs> great seating.
Gail Peranto and Max Serrano, you're the team member by 79, Toby Kidea and Oscar Watson, 80, Alana Severo and Cy Crowley. 9.7 seconds. I'm ready to go. I'm going out that gate. And we're going out to the Empire Road. Um, free camping. It's not BLM, it's some uh, conservation property, but it's federal, so that's where we're going today. Come on in. Lista? Lista. Okay. That's, uh, there's like hundreds of people over there. And scores of horses. Yeah, I saw all the horses arrive, but I didn't see all the people leaving. Is there another parking area there? Oh, well, the other side is all full of people. And horse carts and horse carts. <laughs> horse trailers. Okay, let's go. Give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today. <laughs>